Hi guys, you're welcome back to Dami Dimension channel. If you're meeting for the first time, my name is Dami. So last week I uploaded a video on how I made the upper part of this dress because that video was based on the princess dance tutorial. So a lot of you let me know in the comment section that you want to know how I made the full dress. So that is why I'm bringing to you in this video how I, I made the down part. So make sure you watch the video from the beginning to the end because it's going to be very informative as usual. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you use the red button down below to subscribe. It is absolutely free to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any tutorial from this channel. I upload video on sewing tutorials like this every week so trust me you don't want to miss any video and if you've not seen the uh video i posted last week on the upper part make sure you go to my channel to check it out i'll provide a link in the description box or at the end of this video because i'm not going to be repeating that in this video so make sure you find that video and if you find this video helpful in any way give me a thumbs up so guys let's jump straight into the video so like I said, this is a video of the down part of this dress. So I have here my lining fabric and I folded it into half already as you can see. So next I'm going to go ahead and fold it into another half. So by now it's folded into four. And when you fold into another half, make sure you leave your zipper allowance. So here I have one and a half zipper allowance set aside. And I am going to be taking this part as my uh, waistline. So I am going to be starting by taking half inch joining allowance to join my skirt to my upper part. So I'm ruling that out. And from that line, I'm taking my waist to hip measurement, which is 10 inches. And I'm marking the 10 inches on the other side as well. So I can connect it into a horizontal line like this. And next I'm taking my waist to uh, the skirt length okay so my skirt length is going to be 25 but I'm subtracting one from it to make it 24 because this is the lining is going to be one inch shorter than the main fabric okay so I'm marking the 24 on the other side as well I have half inch left and I'm going to be using that as my joining allowance so I'm ruling that out like this and next thing I'm going to be marking out my dart so I'm taking my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two plus half inch joining allowance, which gives me four inches. I'm marking it like this. And I'm also transferring that measurement on my hip line as well, so I can connect it into a vertical line like this. So we are trying to mark out the dart now. <laughs> All right, so next I am going to be taking one inch to the right and one inch to the left of that vertical line that i just drew and on my hip line i'm coming up by two inches and i'm going to be connecting those three points together all right and once that is done we are going to be transferring a horizontal measurement now okay so the quarter of my waist measurement is 6.5 plus the two inches we took out for the dart makes it 8.5 and i'm going to be adding one and a half inch joining allowance to make it 10. so i'm going to be marking my 10 like so and take note that whenever i'm marking a horizontal measurement i am ignoring my zipper allowance okay so now i'm moving to my hip measurement so the quarter of my hip measurement is 9 inches. I'm going to be adding 1.5 inch joining allowance to that. My dart does not get to the hip, so I don't have to add anything for the dart. Okay, so 9 inches plus 1.5 joining allowance gives me 10.5. Then I mark it like so. And I am going to my skirt length now. And whatever I have on the hip line, I'm going to be subtracting 1 inch from that okay because it's a pencil dress that's why we have to subtract one inch so whatever you have left you should transfer it like that and then we are going to be connecting those three points together like you can see me doing right now all 
all right now i'm notching the center point and i'm also notching my zipper allowance and i am cutting out that shape now okay then you should go ahead and mark this dart on these faces as well you should mark it here as well and then you are going to be making use of this lining to cut out the main fabric the only difference is that it's going to be one inch longer at the length all right so so i went ahead and cut out two flounces of camera because my table is just too small i couldn't show it well this is the big one and here is what the smaller one looks like and here is what they both look like side by side because i want you to see how they are together but don't worry i'm going to be showing you uh exactly what i did with another piece of fabric okay so i'm going to be making use of this fabric to show you exactly how i cut that out in a smaller version so i started by drawing out a vertical line like this and then i drew a, a horizontal line just to you know cross it just like you're drawing across all right and once i was done doing that then i started by taking four inches i'm not uh i would not be able to take four inches here because this piece of fabric is small so i am just going to be assuming those measurements but i'm going to be saying out exactly what i took so i'm sure that's going to be perfect for you guys you're going to understand so i just assume this is my four inches i took four inches on that line and on this line i took four inches as well and on this line as well i took four inches but when i got to this line i increased it to five inches and from there i kept on increasing and increasing it so on this line i made it six inches right and on this line seven inches here eight inches and here nine inches you know just on and on and on like that here 10 inches and lastly here 11 inches okay i ended it at 11 inches because i want that part to be 11 inches uh wide so the next thing to do now is to start joining this point together so you need to connect those points together in form of a spiral it's going to form a spiral by the time you are done joining so from this point to this one and to this one on and on and on and on like that so just keep connecting the spiral so I connected the spiral as you can see okay so I came up with something like this after connecting them and then after that I cut out the shape okay and once you are done cutting out and you open it up you should have something like this then i went ahead and measure the inside like this just to be sure that i have enough it is going to run across my front waist line like this all the way to my side seam stopping just about two inches before the hem line remember that i told you that i made this part end at 11 inches now i'm going to be cutting it out a little bit because i want a particular effect this is the part that you are going to be attaching to the waistline and this is the part you are going to be hemming right so on this part i am going to be hemming i'm going to be measuring uh one inch upward like this so i measured out one inch upward like that and then I, I I curved it into my flounce a little bit and I chopped it off like that so I just cut that part off this is totally optional there is a particular way I want it to look that's why I did that you can ignore it so the next thing I did was to cut out the second flounce which is the smaller one but the difference with this one is that you know i made this one to end at 11 inches but now it's 10 because i already cut out one inch from it so i made the second one end at nine inches at this part and then it's going to be running across my front waistline only it doesn't go to the side uh seam so here is what the flounce looks like once i'm done and here is you know this is the big one this is the bigger flounce so you can see how big it is I, I couldn't have been able to show you clearly on my table 
all right so um i just want to show you that part that i was talking about that i cut out one inch so you can see that it's a bit thinner at the end here so you see that i have 10 inch 10 inches at that part instead of 11 is because i cut it out so then i went ahead and cut two pieces for each flounce you know the exact same way because i'm going to be making use of the same fabric to uh, you know to turn them inside out all right and this is the second flounce which is the smaller one as well i cut out two pieces as well okay and the next thing to do now is to place your flounce right sides facing each other you know i worked with the bigger flounce first and then i stitched this way stitch it this way you know just join two of them together like that all the way through the curve and once you are done doing that you should have something like this and then the next thing would be to notch them all around so that you can turn it inside out and have a very clean and nice finish all right so once you're done notching them turn it inside out and go ahead and give it a good press then you should re repeat the same thing to your smaller flounce as well if you like you can leave out the smaller flounce because even with only the bigger flounce it still looks good but you know I just like to be extra <laughs> so if you are extra like me go ahead and make it two flounces all right so now i'm done turning it inside out and this is what it looks like and now i am going to be working on my skirt so the first thing i would do is to sew in my dart so you should go ahead and sew in your dart on all of your uh, panels all right okay and once i'm done taking in the dart this is what they look like and now we are moving to the interesting part i'm going to be attaching my flounce now so i grab my front panel and i also grab the big flounce you know the bigger one that's going to be running from the waist to the side seam so uh, align them on your waistline like this and just a little bit after my center notch I am going to be starting my pleating okay so I started to pleat just a little bit after my center notch like this so I just pleated pleated all the way from my waistline to the side seam you can pleat it randomly you can make it box pleat or the regular pleat the choice is yours okay it depends if you do it certain way if you don't like it you can pleat it the other way around okay so i went ahead and used pin to secure the pleat together so it can make it more easier for me when i'm uh, sewing on the machine so i am just making sure that they are aligned now and you can see the pleats right so uh take note of your seam allowance okay if you have one inch seam allowance make sure you leave your seam allowance before you place the flounce that is going to be running on your side seam because if you place it directly at the edge of your uh skirt like this your skirt is going to be too big okay so you should make sure you take into consideration your seam allowance and then uh, align it straight down as you can see me doing right now okay so if you don't want a lot of volume or you want to manage your fabric you may not you know cut your flounce to be uh, to be a lot <laughs> to be in excess you guys know what I'm saying so once you're done just go ahead and join it like I demonstrated <laughs> all right so on this side as well i'm going to be taking into account my side seam allowance and i'm just pinning my flounce onto the panel as you can see just exactly what i've explained already take into account your seam allowance and pin 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 all the way down and then you should stitch them okay so when i cut my flounce like i said i made it in excess so that i can have them pleated 
if you want you can make it you can make yours exact same size as your waistline and the side seam so you won't have to pleat it but i'm going for the volume as you can see okay so once i'm done i pinned it and then i'm going to be joining it all the way down like this and after joining this is what i have okay so now i grab my second flounce which is the smaller one so i have excess there i'm going to be trimming it off that's not a problem so i'm also aligning my second flounce on top of it and i'm pleating it you can see i have a lot of fabric that's what i want <laughs> so i'm just pleating them you know very very deep pleats and once you're done pleating you should go ahead and stitch it down as well so after stitching this is what it looks like you can see it's coming out beautiful already so next you should grab your back panel and place it on it like this and then you should stitch it down taking into consideration your seam allowance your side seam allowance if you already uh, put your side seam allowance into perfect consideration you should not have any problem by now all right so now that i'm done joining my uh, back panels this is what it looks like and the next thing to do would be to grab your upper part the one we made in our previous video if you've not seen that video please 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 go and check it out so i'm matching the notch of the center and the center notch of my skirt as well match it together like this and pin and then from there you can go ahead and match all the dots and the side seams and then you can stitch all around like that once i'm done doing that this is what i have i'm so excited because i love it <laughs> okay so the next thing now is to grab your lining you can see that i joined my lining the same way i did to the down part of my uh, main fabric so hold the dots and join them together like this as well and then you are going to be attaching your lining to the lining so take note that i attached the line i mean the main fabric of the upper part to the main fabric of my down part only so now we are doing the lining and i'm just making sure that all of my darts and side seam are matching then once you're done matching you can pin it down and then take it to the same machine and sew them down okay and once i'm done doing that i have this one you can see how my seams are aligning this is what you want your project to look alike <laughs> All right, so now we're going to be joining the down part and we are going to be doing it from the inside okay because we want all the raw edges to be hidden so what you're going to do is to open up your dress this way okay so you can bring the main fabric and the lining together like this all right and then you can have access to sew it from the inside so again i'm matching my center notch and then i'm matching all the side seam and i'm going to be joining it like this once i'm done doing that i have this then i am going to be turning it inside out okay i have fun when i sew <laughs> okay so this is what i have once i am done so go ahead and give it a good good press and we are almost done guys so what you need to do next is to continue sewing down your zipper from the upper part into the skirt so sew it down like this and next we are going to be joining so now i'm done sewing the zipper so this is what i have so next thing we need to determine how long slit you want so determine how long slit you want and from that point you need to sew to meet up with the zipper all right and i'm going to be doing that from the inside obviously and again i am going to be turning it in like this so you see how i brought out that part that i need to sew so just bring it out like that and then again i'm just trying to check for the length of my uh, slit and from there i'm going to be sewing to meet up with my zipper all right and once you're done doing that 
you should bring it out again so take note that i joined only the two main fabrics together so now we are going to be joining the lining so determine the slit length on the lining as well and do the same thing to the lining once you're done doing that you can uh sew your lining to the main fabric this way so you are going to be bringing your lining outside like this just watch what i'm doing so bring out your lining like this and then you are going to be laying it on top of your main fabric right side facing each other so right side of the lining to the right side of the main fabric you will put them on top of each other like this you have you are going to be having your zipper in between okay so once you're done bringing them together like this then take it to your sewing machine and join it straight down don't worry if you're not able to sew them completely down you may have a bit of leftover part that your machine cannot handle you can just unstitch that part okay so you are going to be repeating the same thing to the other side as well bring in your lining i mean bring it out like this so i'm just trying to explain again in case you don't get it the first time so bring out your lining like this and lie it on top of your main fabric right sides facing each other your zipper in between and then you are going to be joining the two of them together okay so once that is done and you bring it inside out you're going to be having it all clean and perfect all right and once you're done doing that you can just go ahead and hand stitch your slit if you want me to show you how to make a very clean and quick hand stitch just let me know in the comment and i will try to show you guys and that marks the end of this tutorial here is the finished look you can see how gorgeous it looks let me know what you think in the comment section make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already you can share this video with your sewing mates thank you so much and let's meet in my next video thank you bye bye